Um, I don't believe you can score at this moment, chief, because that which it uh, suggests is already being done by the council. Um, so <laughs> Those two sites are coming in consideration by the wild, uh, Wildlife Trust. And to add some reassurance, that is what I've just said. In the meanwhile, whilst consideration is taking place, they're going to be dependent on the habitat regulations and how they in the plan. And then once the report is published, as a learning sentence. So, really, that's it. Thank you.
Thank you, Madam Mayor. Thank you, councillors. So, sorry, just sit down and get things going. We've got some amendments. Uh, notice has been given of one amendment in respect of this item, and this is set out at page 24 of the agenda supplement. I therefore call upon the members and seconds of the amendment to so indicate. Thank you, Madam Mayor, thank you, Councillors, and thank you to the many ladies and gentlemen in the public gallery. Never could I have imagined that I was standing here in this chamber, leading a motion following a devastating explosion that had literally ripped through my hometown in New Ferry. Never could I have imagined that on a Saturday night, when people were enjoying their weekend, having meals with friends and family, or simply walking by to the shop, that an explosion would affect the lives of many hundreds of people in my community. Madam Mayor, never would I have imagined that 16 weeks on from a major disaster, that government would sit on its hands when people are homeless, when businesses are closing down, and when a 21 year old lies in a hospital bed. I have said consistently that New Ferry must not be used as a political football, being kicked back and forth by political parties. However, with 16 weeks passing, with residents still displaced and businesses closing down, it would be absolutely resistant of me not to stand up in this chamber for my own community I was democratically elected to represent. Madam Mayor, I am absolutely ashamed, appalled and disappointed that it has taken 16 weeks for a junior minister to visit New Ferry, even when the Prime Minister was over the water in Liverpool even when the Chancellor and the Secretary of State were too busy playing with party <coughs> politics around the corner in Forkton Buff to put their boots on the ground to visit residents and businesses and the site. And then, for that very visiting minister to have the audacity to go live on local radio and say the government have been supporting Wirral Council in their efforts since day one. That statement, those very words, were a kick in the teeth to all those residents affected, crying out for government support, only to receive nothing. The people who have been there since day one is our phenomenal emergency services, our council officers who I will name, David Ball, Mark Campbell, Fergus Adam, Shannon Kennedy, Neil Mitchell, Sam and Darren Singleton. Singleton. It's the phenomenal community members, Leslie Klein, Lisa Mack, and all the other dedicated women from New Beginnings, like Paula Roberts, Andy Greenhoff, and Mark Craig, and all the amazing people in Life Church in Bevington who open their doors in New Ferry's time of need. These are the very people who have picked up the burden whilst government seemingly hides away from its responsibilities. Is this the reality? Madam Mayor, for a northern town under a Conservative-led government that we are not a priority. With Wirral Council's already pressured budget, with offices often working 50-hour days and hundreds of thousands of pounds already spent, why isn't the government playing its role in supporting residents affected by the new ferry disaster? And I choose my words carefully, Madam Mayor when I describe Eaton as a disaster. From being there on that evening, working in the county centre until early hours in the morning, helping our emergency services and officers coordinate response. Then being at the emergency call with my ward colleagues Aaron and Joe at New Ferry Village Hall, helping with the waves of hundreds of people dropping in to receive help and support they need, and holding the hands of people that are fortunately grown up in my hometown and who I've known all my life during the, one of the most difficult times in their lives and during a time when they have broken down out of desperation and fatigue. 
and then happened to call a mother whose 21 year old son was found amongst the rubble right outside their family home, which was damaged by the explosion. Visiting Lewis Jones in intensive care and then recognising that Lewis was in the air of me at school and that it could have been anybody in that hospital bed. Lewis was in the wrong place at the wrong time, walking to meet his mates on a Saturday night. Being there from the initial blast, going through every stage and phase of the emergency response, disaster is the only applicable word to, such, to describe such devastation. New ferry does matter, and we all have a responsibility to ensure that government plays its, its part in supporting those in need. Oh, 